dishonesty is something that just really, really pisses me off. Hi friends, thanks for clicking. I'm the Pink Veggie. If you're into health, fitness and looking your best, please subscribe for weekly videos. Do you like the red curtains? Um, I'm just in my bedroom, but on screen I realised I look like I'm in a fancy cinema. Um, it's not fancy, but anyway. I'm very, very faded pink veggie today. I've got some hair dye coming of a brand I haven't used before, so that'll be an upcoming review. But as for today, I'm pretty pissed off actually. Um, so I wanted to have a bit of a rant. I've been meaning to do a video about how deceptive food packaging can be, um, and I will still do that video. But I wanted to put this one as a separate um, issue because I think this one is just, it's more than deceptive, um, really, in my opinion. Um, so about th three or four years ago, I was looking into collagen supplements. And um, so before I had my stomach surgery, I was um, thinking that that might help my separation naturally without having surgery. So I, I am vegetarian, not vegan, and I do eat gelatin products, but... Just the thought of having collagen straight, um, it just didn't sit well with me. It was just made me a bit icky. Uh, and I did look into uh, if there was anything such as a vegan collagen or plant-based and there, there was no such thing. So I gave up that sort of train of thought and um, I haven't thought about it since. Um, that is probably about until the last six months. I don't know why, but uh, my brain sort of come around to it and maybe I wouldn't mind giving it a go. And my mate said to me, hey, I found this vegan collagen online. Um, it's vegan, it's all made from all these plants and things and um, totally plant-based and vegan. And I kind of thought, well, from what I'd researched three years ago, that wasn't even possible. But I haven't looked into it in that long. So maybe something's happened. Maybe they've had some development and they can artificially synthesize it now or something. I don't know. Um, she's a pretty intelligent lady, um, pretty savvy with things like that. So I thought I'd um, pop online and have a look. Um, so as it turns out, there's, there is still no such thing as vegan collagen. There's a lot of buzzwords in um, food and health and fitness over the years and one of the buzzwords at the moment I think is collagen and vegan and companies have taken advantage of this. You'd be surprised how very little regulation there is around food and supplement packaging and labelling. Um, unless it says organic or makes an actual health claim. Um, Manufacturers are pretty free to um, use things very deceptively. A year ago, while I was at Woolies, I was just browsing in the health food section where all the protein products are, and there was this one brand called Dose Co, and it had on there dairy-free collagen. And I'm like, wow, dairy-free. So I had a look on the back, and it's, it is dairy-free, but it's from bovine sources. So it's cow product, it is cow collagen but on the front they've got dairy free and they might argue that is because some people have dairy allergies um, but to me I think they've done that on purpose um, and they have another uh, product here as well which is got dairy free all over it dairy free dairy free and also made with coconut milk so if you're the unsuspecting consumer and you see dairy free and coconut milk you'd reasonably very reasonably think it's vegan um, but if you look on the back it is still bovine collagen and there is and there is no such thing as vegan collagen the vegan collagen that my friend was telling me about was from a brand called edible beauty and it says right on the packaging native collagen powder plant-based collagen you flip it over to the back it's got a whole heap of ingredients which are basically a bunch of plant extracts and no, there's no collagen in there um, Collagen is a, a protein and these plants don't have collagen in them because it's impossible. If you do scroll down to the fine print of the product information, it does say supports the production of collagen. So it's not collagen, it supports the production of collagen. And then you've got this one, the plant fusion one, which has on it collagen beauty plant peptides. and. And the website's labelling information is actually very limited, so nowhere could you actually even see that it is just to support the manufacturer of collagen. And you have the Beauty Boost product. A vegan collagen activator capsule. 
and if you read again further down the fine print in the item description, the, uh, collagen only comes from animal sources. And this, and this last one, vegan collagen. And in the fine print again, support skin elasticity and firmness. Vegan collagen support. It's not vegan collagen, it's collagen support. So what is the takeaway here? Always read the label and item description thoroughly and do your homework. Do not read the label, which is just the thing on the front and think it's something because it probably isn't that something that you think it is. Read the ingredients, read the nutrition label, read the item description, read, read all the information you can. Some companies might market themselves as the warm, fuzzy, uh, natural, alternative, organic, vegan friendly um, thing that they want you to think they are, but they are trying to make money. They want you to buy. They will do anything deceptive that, that they are allowed to within the law. Dishonesty is something that just really, really pisses me off. And I think even worse than outright lies is being deceptive. And this is what these companies are doing. They're being deceptive, um, labeling things in such a way that it's not an outright lie, but it, you pretty much like reasonably could assume that it is what it says it is, but it's not. And that just really, really grinds my gears. So always do your homework. So thank you for listening to my rant. If you liked it, give it a like and subscribe. I hope you found it useful. If there's any collagen brands that you do like, I am still looking for one, so leave a comment, let me know what it is, and I'll see you next week. Mostly found in connective tissue such as cartilage, bones, tendons, ligaments, and skin.